welcome to Silver Tribe and Winery here in the beautiful Napa Valley. I'm Bob Bender and I'm here with co-founder of Silver Trident Winery, Walter Yost. And thank you for joining us. Now, it may sound unusual, but I had the idea for the potato chip extravaganza on an airplane. I was enjoying those little blue chips, you know, I was on that airline and they came down the aisle with a cart. I got that bottle and I cracked open a little screw top. I was enjoying them together. And you know what? I was actually smiling. And so I was thinking, man, this would be great to do this at Silver Trident Winery. We take these delicious chips combine them with our wines for something truly unique. So we found some great chips out there and we had a blast putting this together. So now it's your turn. One of our team members will walk you through the tasting and once you reach the end of it, pause the tape and then you can get ready for the next experience. Get your glass, open some wines and get ready to have some fun. This pairing features our Apollo's Folly Rosé of Pinot Noir and the spicy Cajun Craw Tater Chip by Zaps. Hi guys, I'm Mallory, I'm the Director of uh, Memberships and Events here at Silver Trident, and I'm so excited to be talking to you today about this uh, new potato chip extravaganza that we are offering here at the Tasting Home. If you haven't met our trusty uh, friend Keith Richards, he's a big fan of the potato chips. <laughs> so I'm drinking our Apollo's Folly Rosé of Pinot Noir, which is a really beautiful wine that pairs perfectly with most seafoods. So we thought when we were putting these pairings together that because of the incredible um, seafood pairing with rosé that we had to, of course, go with these beautiful Zapp's Cajun Craw Tater um, chips, which are perfect. Um, they have a little bit of that Old Bay seasoning and kind of a lot of that very like beautiful herbaceous um, kind of savory elements, which pair perfectly with this very savory rosé. So if you aren't familiar with how we make our rosé, 100% um, Pinot Noir fruit that we bring in from the Sonoma Coast, specifically a vineyard right next to the Gaps Crown Vineyard in Sonoma Coast. We do a whole cluster press on the fruit, about 80% of it then we put into stainless steel tanks and drums to age and ferment and then 20% we will then throw into neutral oak just to kind of soften and round the mouthfeel. Um, when we first started during quarantine at kind of putting this idea together and doing some taste testing, I personally um, fell in love with the spicy Cajun craw taters from Zaps. And the pairing has really become kind of my quintessential lunch break. So when I can't find anything to eat, I will go for a glass of rosé and my favorite chip. Um, we're so excited though to be able to bring the tasting experience from our home to your home and allow you guys to uh, kind of go along with us on this journey. So feel free to uh, press pause because my coworker Scott is going to uh, take you through the Sauvignon Blanc and the next ship. Enjoy, cheers. Now we'll be pairing Silver Trident Sauvignon Blanc with Route 11 sour cream and chai potato chips. Um, first of all, our lovely Sauvignon Blanc uh, our Symphony Number no. Nine, Ode to Joy, um, has a lovely passion fruit nose and some nice stone fruit and a l just the right amount of acid to go um, with the fruit that's involved. It's really good on its own, but fortunately, we have something to have with it. The sour cream chips—they uh, give you a certain amount of tartness. Uh, and the acid in the wine and the tartness of the chip come together and make this perfect package. It's really a match made in heaven, besides the potato chips. Mm. A little salt doesn't help either. Mm. So, like I said, you get this full almost um, feeling in your mouth of where the, the, the salt hits, and then you grab the wine, Really a nice balance. Um, it's one of the things we also do here at the tasting home. We offer you an herbed labna uh, with some goat cheese and some lemon zest, and it's another perfect pairing that just goes so well with this wine. So our Sauvignon Blanc, we get uh, about 60% of the grapes from Rutherford, almost at the St. Helena border, and then, um, which is a Bextoffer vineyard, uh, older vine, uh, hotter area, older vines, maybe 35-year-old vines, 
give it a nice, deep, rich, heavy flavor. Uh, about 40% of the grapes are a Sauvignon Blanc Musquet, which is down at Cuvisson in Carneros. Uh, cooler growing area, it brings out some of that passion fruit uh, and citrus that you get in the wine. So it's a great little combination. Carrier Winemaker puts this in 75% stainless steel and 25% neutral oak, so no real oak flavors, but it is all Sir Lee, so it's spending time with the sort of yeast particles and really brings about this sort of a little more masculine kind of Sauvignon Blanc. It's a little heavier, goes with so many different things, uh, whether it be a salad or um, again, by itself. So thanks for doing our tasting. And uh, let's go on to Beth, who's gonna have some Pinot Noir for you. Thank you, cheers. This pairing features Silver Trident Pinot Noir with Cajun Dill Crawtator Potato Chips. Hi there, I'm Beth, and I'm talking about our Pinot Noir, our Benevolent Dictator from Russian River. And we're gonna be pairing it with Zapp's Cajun Dill Crawtators. And um, a little bit about our Benevolent Dictator um, actually, since the property straddles both Sonoma Coast and Russian River Appalachians on the Sonoma side of the ridge behind me, um, we just kind of got real with the fact that we really love the bright, rich red fruit profile coming out of Russian River. And since 14, we've been devoted exclusively to that side of the vineyard in the production of our benevolent dictator. So we really do this Pinot Noir, it's fine. Means that we do a 20 day exposure of the full cluster. So, you know, the, the juice is clear until there's skin contact, right? So when you extend the full cluster out to 20 days, it really gives the wine kind of an intensity that one doesn't often see in Pinot Noir. And the rest, the other three quarters do see that customary modus operandi of skin on juice. So just kind of think of the, the grape skin as the tea bag and the juice as the hot water. Okay, so um, kind of like we were steeping. So this is just a 400 case production. You won't see it in any big box stores. And as you take the glass to the bridge of your nose, look for all that big, bright, rich, red, beautiful fruit one expects from Russian River. Um, rhubarb, cranberry, pomegranate, almost like a cherry cola spice. Delicious. So we're gonna have this with our Cajun Dill Crossator. Pardon my crunching. Mm. So you'll see that vibrant acidity of the wine it really plays beautifully with the acidity of the Cajun crossator here, like a dill pickle jar. And um, what kind of also kind of brings out when you circle back for that second sip. has more savory, more umami tones. It almost brings out like a soy sauce or charcuterie, um, almost like black tea leaf and cedar kind of jumping out of your glass. So remember that when you uh, take this to your favorite restaurants, but um, yeah, just the richness and acidity will always play well together on the palate. So thank you for joining us. And Carrie Oranger, our winemaker, will be joining us next for our deep red blend, the proprietary Playing With Fire. Now we're pairing our Playing With Fire red blend with Zapp's Voodoo flavored potato chips. Hi, I'm Carrie Oranger, and I'm the winemaker for Silver Trident Winery. And we're in the tasting home today, and I have the pleasure of talking to you about the Playing With Fire, which is our red blend. And I love this wine. This is a super playful wine. It's ready right away. It's ready to go. Um, it's been one of the one of the really fun parts of this project that um, it just it inspires me actually, because really the mission is really just to make the best wine we can. And why we call it playing with fire is because the varietal composition changes for each vintage. So today we're tasting the 2018. And this has a couple of different varietals in it. Um, the base is every year, it's always the Melbeck that we get from this real pretty vineyard up in Rutherford, the Melrose Vineyard. So this vintage, we have about 75% Melbeck. And there's 15% Cabernet Sauvignon, which also comes from Rutherford. And then there's 15% Cabernet Franc. So this has uh, all the really great qual qualities of a Cab Franc along with that beautiful, beautiful Melbeck. 
So the chip pairing that we're doing today is with Zaps and it's called Voodoo. This is their Voodoo chip. And I can't wait to try this together. Um, I think you're gonna enjoy this. The chips are um, a little spicy, but they've got this barbecue um, kind of um, aroma and, and flavor. And then there's a little bit of salt and vinegar, um, which also happen to be uh, a couple of flavors that I love very much. So if we take a sip of the Playing With Fire 2018 Vintage. Mm, this is not a shy wine. This is a beautiful, big, fleshy wine. Um, it's just recently released. I love what the Malbec brings to this blend. It's um, got this nice kind of meaty, kind of barbecue-y um, note to it, which makes me think that these chips, the Voodoo chips, might pair really well with that. Mmm. That's a good chip. Wow. There's a little bit of vinegar, but it's really more barbecue. And there's a nice acidity to it. So now if you take a sip of the Playing With Fire, mm, it actually accentuates and brings up the fruit components in this, in this wine. There's a lush juiciness to it that is super great. I'm gonna have to do that again. Mm, that is a great pair. The team here at the Silver Trident have really put together some really fun pairings with these chips. Mm. That's, that's fantastic. And I, um, I'm particularly happy to be showing you the Playing With Fire today because we are getting ready to harvest the Melbeck. The Melbeck that comes in, that goes into this uh, wine. So we're super excited about it. I think the 2020 vintage so far has been really good. We've got the Sauvignon Blanc is in. And I know that Scott just talked to you about the Sauvignon Blanc. Um, so I'm very, very excited about it. And up next, we've got Shane, our general manager. He's going to talk to you about the Cabernet Sauvignon 27 Fathoms and the chip pairing that he has for you. Cheers. Our final wine pairing features our 27 Fathoms Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon paired with potato chip chocolate bark. Thank you, Carrie. Wow, playing with fire and voodoo at the same time, generally not recommended, but this is the potato chip extravaganza experience, so it's actually encouraged. Hello, everybody. My name is Shane, and I am the general manager here at Silver Trident Winery. And on behalf of the team, it is my great pleasure to introduce uh, our last tasting of the potato chip extravaganza, our uh, grand finale, which features our 27 Fathoms Cabernet Sauvignon and a pairing that is ridiculously delicious and decadent. So we'll, we'll get into both of these here in a minute. Um, as I'm sitting here, I'm really getting a lot of aromas already. The very expressive wine, the 27 Fathoms, um, on the nose, getting a lot of really rich, ripe uh, plum, boysenberry, blackberry, a little bit of some baking spice. Yeah, absolutely delicious. Um, palate definitely confirms the nose on those fruits, but I would also add a little bit of some savory herb, a um, little clove. Really great texture on this wine. Um, I would describe this wine as really more of a elegant, delicate style of Napa Valley Cabernet. Uh, we're pulling from three different vineyard sources here. Uh, we have our estate up in St. Helena. Where we grow about three acres of some beautiful cab and all of that fruit goes into this bottle of wine. And we're also working with two different iconic vineyards, both in Oakville and in Rutherford. Um, interestingly enough, uh, both all three of these vineyards are less than five minutes from one another, but uh, geographically far enough where they fall into their three separate AVAs Oakville, Rutherford, St. Helena, and all really classic areas in the Napa Valley for growing Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, this wine, uh, really delicious. Carrie does a wonderful job keeping those tannins like super integrated and soft. Just a really lovely wine, really hit its stride, and I think it's going to run for uh, quite some time. Uh, the pairing that we uh, put together for you, uh, starting off with our Zaps regular potato chip, which I think is kind of a misnomer. There's nothing regular about this potato chip at all. In fact, I think it's like the perfect potato chip. Um, just absolutely delicious, great crunch, great seasoning. It's just, it's perfect. And uh, so we called up our good friends over at Kohler Chocolate, just literally 
uh, half a block down the road, uh, really world-class chocolatier, and asked them if they could take this perfect potato chip and try to make it a little better. So they came back to us and they enveloped this potato chip with uh, 72% dark chocolate, um, singly sourced cacao beans from Venezuela, um, really decadent. Uh, it's got that that rich, dark creaminess, has a little bit of some salt. It's got that crunch from the potato chip. Um, all, all those textures and flavors uh, go really hand in hand with this Cabernet Sauvignon and really bringing out that, that dark, rich, ripe fruit. And the acidity on this wine really carries uh, the pairing through this, uh, through this potato chip experience. Um, this is, well, it's not even a potato chip. I guess it's a potato chip chocolate brick absolutely delicious. So I am going to leave it to you to enjoy our 27 Fathoms Cabernet Sauvignon and this delicious chocolate potato chip brick from Zaps and Kohler Chocolate. And I uh, hope you all enjoy it. And I want to thank you all for joining us for the potato chip extravaganza. Um, I hope you're having fun because we certainly had a lot of fun putting it together. I'm not going to lie. We ate a lot of chips. We drank a lot of wine and we tried to uh, come up with something that we really thought would be uh, absolutely perfect. So uh, I'm going to leave it to you. Enjoy. Bring it back to Bob and Walter in the vineyards and cheers. We'd love to hear which of these unique experiences you enjoyed the most. We'd also love to see you out here in the Napa Valley as we have all kinds of new experiences always premiering at Silver Trident Winery. Please stay safe and healthy and keep enjoying Silver Trident wines. Hope to see you soon. Cheers. Cheers.